A new map has made its way into Farming Simulator and it brought a new crop, coffee. Hey, what's up guys, it's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a uh, bit of a map tour and an explanation on how coffee works in Farming Simulator 22. Today we're gonna take a look at the new map, Recanto de Alvarada map from the Connect modding group. There's also a bunch of mods that came out with this as well and I thought I was gonna be able to get those into one video but it's just gonna be way too long. So stay tuned for a second video showing off all of the Jatco equipment but today let's take a look at the map. It's Recanto de Alvarado map, this is from the Connect Connect Modding Group, and this is the map that we've been talking about over the past few weeks of Farm Some News that they said they're going to have coffee on. And they do. We have actually a full coffee production chain, which is really neat. We'll take a look at that later on in this video. Starting off, let's just take a look at overhead on the map itself. So they say you have just moved to this area and it's right for a new business. Be the new farmer for this region and be part of its history where you need to sit and relax with a good cup of coffee. You got 79 fields total from small to large. 71 of them have missions, so not all of them and you get to work with the new coffee. Now, coffee is basically like uh, grapes and olives. Think about it like that. It's really, really easy and very simple to understand. Even the machinery for it is as simple as that as well. So again, we'll talk about all that later in this video. So first, let's just take a look at the PD-8 right here. You can see we've got a pretty big map overall. As far as the area that we start off with, it's really not that big. It's just this small little area right down here. Even the, the fields on this map aren't even numbered. <laughs> these two areas right here, uh, these may look like, oh, maybe those are where the coffee is. Nope, those are just trees. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's pop over to this little farm so you guys can take a look around it. So this is going to be where you start your journey. We've got a nice house on here. We got a nice uh, area for water and a really, really cool area here. Let's go and slow ourselves down. Let you drop to the floor and take a look at this shed. Check this out. Look at this. Boom, boom. Good to go. You do have the Doid's top liner. It's all base game equipment right through here. So there's nothing that you're not used to. But I do really, really like the building right there. I think it's really cool. We've got all kinds of neat stuff around here. As for the two fields that you guys have on the map itself, well, you can see this one needs a little bit of work. And if I'm honest with you, so does this one. I mean, it's kind of ready, but it's going to need some work. Uh, your wheat or corn i'm really not sure what was in here uh that has already been harvested and then over here you've got some soybeans that are growing but uh, they got weeds all in them speaking of weeds oof let's uh let's change this ground up and let's put down some coffee beans now that that's done let's put down the coffee so go into your build mode then you want to go into i believe it's productions orchards and you can find them right here the coffee trees again Treat these exactly like you would treat your grapevines or your olive vines. They work exactly the same. So how do we want to do this? And we'll just go along with the uh, field itself the way it is. So we'll go ahead and uh, click. We'll bring it through. You can see this fruit cannot be planted in August. Now I'm going to try and put these down anyway to see if it'll let me do it. But no, it will not let me do it. So what I've got to do is actually figure out when we could do all of this. So coffee beans can only be planted in March, April, May, and June. And then it can only be harvested in October. And that's it. Um, it does only take like, what four, uh, four months to do, but uh, if you wanna make that run quick, just turn off seasonal cycles. All right, that should take care of it right there. Let's go ahead and try this again. Productions, orchards, coffee trees right here. And then now we can put them down and let them grow at any given time. Boom. Right about there. You guys cool with that? Pow. Just like so. And I'm going to do this a couple more times. Um, how close can we get? Okay. So it does kind of give us a, a base minimum and a maximum where we could put these together, which is kind of nice. I really like the way they've done that. Now that the coffee is down, we are going to wait a little while and uh, get our coffee. And there you go. I started in August and now in December, they're ready to be harvested. And it'll even tell you in here as well. You can go into the growth, it'll tell you, cool, ready to be harvested. Even shows you your crop type. It does look very similar to the sunflower color. So just be ready for that. But coffee beans can found on crop two page. Grab a hold of our Jacko K3500 and we'll We'll give it a little harvest. Now that we got that and we are all ready to go, let's go ahead and unfold this bad boy. What it's gonna do is gonna raise it up a little bit 
and be ready to get some of that coffee. And then all we gotta do is <laughs> turn it on. It's got a little wishy-washy thing in the inside. It looks pretty cool. But again, like I said, this works just like everything would work when you guys are doing uh, uh, olives or grapes, anything like that. It all is kind of the same, more or less. We'll come through, sitting here losing my voice here. Oh, and I crashed. No, no one's surprised about that. So let's just move forward. There we go. Going forward, we're not getting a lot of leaderage. So just like uh, grapes and olives, you're not going to get a whole lot all at once. But it is working. It's working really well. And we're going through. Actually, we're filling up really fast as well. This must not have a very high capacity. One of the really nice things is all of the base game trailers and I think any modded trailer as well. We can find the right ones here should all now hold grapes as well. Yes, yeah, so any modded trailer that's not a Forge trailer and any regular base game trailer will hold all of your crops, all of your uh, coffee beans. Now, all, or, uh, auger wagons won't. So don't be going for that. Um, you know what, to keep it simple, let's just get one of these crappy trailers. After we got our trailer, now we need to transport this stuff. So we're gonna have to jump in here and we need to pipe out. Once we hit that, Little pipe's gonna come out of the left-hand side. So make sure you guys are around that area. And then we're just gonna come under here with our base game trailer. Don't hit it. And we hit it anyway. Boop. Coffee in. And yes, if you guys are cheaty boys like me, uh, you can cheat it in with mods, which is nice. So now that we've gotten our coffee together, we need to go to Coffee Beans. There's a couple places we could go. Number one is the cooperative. Fine. Uh, we also have roasted coffee, which we haven't gotten and we can also sell that at the cooperative or the supermarket so the one place that's not the same is the coffee factory and that is where our next part of the journey is gonna take us and we have made it so let's jump out of here you will need to open that up but that's really really simple to do and you're also gonna need to buy this place as well you don't own it right off the bat so what we'll do is we'll just kind of pull around and get prepared for dumping out these beans now we can bring it here and we could sell them. But I know you guys, you're like me, you wanna make some roasted coffee beans. So you come in inside here and you wanna go right here. Do you wanna buy it? Yes, I do. Now we own it. We've got all these doors, everything opens as well. So you could go in and out, it's super, super cool. So we'll head over here and we'll do a nice little dump dump right into there. So all the coffee beans are gonna go in and we could go down to our production chain and we could keep an eye on it. So coffee beans, roasted coffee is what we wanna make. So for every two beans that goes in, one liter of roasted coffee comes out. Uh, you got 1,152 cycles per month. It's $69 per month. Nice. Now that all that's taken care of, we've got what, 12,000 liters of coffee beans in there, which means we'll get about 6,000 liters of roasted coffee out. And whenever it's happening, it's gonna pop out right here. This is where all your, uh, your pallets will spawn. And that's gonna be pallets of coffee roasted beans. Now that we've got a couple pallets picked up and we've got everything that we want. By the way, uh, this Kubota skid steer is pretty sweet. I think I've got my front loader settings set on about 10 times way too fast, but nonetheless, we've got it. We'll go and get out of our own way there, strap everything down, and now we need to find a place to sell the coffee beans, which is really easy to do. Just go in here and find roasted coffee, and now all we gotta do is find the best price. Also, uh, maybe don't make the same mistake I just did. One place is all the way across the map, but it's going to have better pricing generally. Um, or you've got the supermarket, which is literally right here. A little bit too easy there. Coffee does make pretty good money, about uh, $1,500 per pallet, which really, at the end of the day, ain't too bad. Well guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you do. Join the GoHand fan. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos. Even if I'm halfway around the world, you're on the channel. Currently enjoying TwitchCon at, uh, in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. We are having a really, really, really good time. Stay tuned for some more videos. We've got some fun stuff planned for you. That being said, hope you have a good one. We'll see you later. Peace.